Okay, so now that I have, um, nothing on- oh god, Jesus, please don't, like, cancel me or something. I swear to god, guys, this is literally just a pixel, so don't say anything. Oh. My. Gosh. Ah, oh, these outfits look so good! and welcome back to another one of my videos and today i decided to do in kind of a different video it's basically i'm gonna be making outfits off of emojis that you guys have given me so i did record this video already like i literally did the full length videos like 40 minutes but that recording just mm, the audio is crusty so um i'm redoing it but i will show you guys the previous outfits that i made and which emojis i used to make them just to show you guys what i did because i really like those outfits not gonna lie but i'm also gonna do some more in this video as well so anyways before we get onto this video please make sure to hit that like button the subscribe button and that notification bell if you have not done so already subscribing is free and if you really want to you can unsubscribe later anyways let's get on to the video Okay guys, I think we should start the video off here because like look at me. I'm shining. I'm a goddess. Look at that Okay, sorry. I'm done. Um, so I do want to showcase the three outfits that I did make in the other recording And I will have the emojis and the people who recommended them on the screen as well when I edit this So first off we have this cherry blossom inspired outfit pastel one of my friends did like recommend this in like her assortments of emojis that she put in but i really do like this like tr what i when i made this i really tried to not just completely use the cherry blossom set because i just felt like that kind of be cheating you know since it is dedicated to being specifically for you know a cherry blossom set and i really do just like the cold color scheme oh i need to show you guys the face it's so cute so this is the face v i'm pretty sure made this face it's so so cute and i know it's kind of like more roses but i felt like it really went with like the floral kind of idea or like theme and this is kind of how it looks like in the back i do have the hair pins and i decided to use like the corsage you know again it goes with the floral kind of idea and of course i have the falling cherry blossoms all around me now this outfit was inspired off of three emojis instead of only one. It was the teddy bear emoji, the ribbon emoji, and the sparkle emoji. So I took it quite literally to be honest. So right here, as you guys can see, I have two teddy bears and I do have ribbons on the back of my hair and the back of my outfit. So I really like that. And I do have sparkles on me and literally used the sparkle like accessory. So I do like it. It gives me like very cozy vibes. What what I decided to do here, which I am very proud of myself of, is I did not use a corset. I always use corsets in my outfit, but I feel like there's so many ways to make adorable outfits without having a lot of accessories. So this is kind of how it looks like on one side. And then this is the outfit from the back. So you guys can see I have the hair bow, which I do like. It's a very simple draping kind of hair bow to go with the hair. And then we have a back bow along with the giant teddy bear. I think this is the new one because it's a smaller version so yeah now last but not least for my previous recording i based this outfit off of the dead or dying rose emoji and so as you guys can see i kind of went with like the dark red and black color scheme just to symbolize you know the dying rose and i did i don't really know how to feel about my like face best wait is my what why oh it's just the sheen of it i thought my face was clipping through anyway so i did use the what i don't know what this skirt is called I think, is it like the dragging train rose skirt i do i don't know i actually really love this skirt i really hope they rework it to be something i just i really love like draping dragging skirts so this is so pretty and i like how you know i actually am not wearing any heels just using the cloth components again and then we got the sleeves we got the roses in the hair as well and this is how the outfit looks like from the back 
Okay, moving away from my other outfits, I do want to find some more emojis to make them into outfits in Royal High. So I posted on my Instagram story again, just because I lost the other story where people recommended emojis. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so I found this person, Jenny Locks, and they just put three butterfly emojis. Now, since I've been staring at these gorgeous butterflies in Divinia, I just really feel like making a butterfly inspired outfit. So why don't we do that? Now, since we're basing it off of the emoji, I kind of still want to go for the same color theme and thankfully, or not thankfully, um, <laughs> no shade to other colors, but you know, blue, amazing. So we're going to be going with the blue kind of theme with the butterflies. So I, I know there is a fluttering butterfly set, but yet again, I really want to stray away from using the entire set. I feel like it's most definitely like cheating. So I do want a clean slate, so let's take off all my things. Okay, so now that I have um, nothing on, oh god, Jesus, please don't like cancel me or something. I swear to god guys, this is literally just a pixel, so don't say anything. So for me, butterflies, when I think butterfly, I think very like flowy and elegant, so I kind of want to go with that theme, you know? Okay, so I decided just because I couldn't really find a blue butterfly wing, I'm just gonna go with the pink, which is totally fine. I do love pink just as much, almost as much as I love blue, I think. So we're just gonna paint everything and, um, oop, my outfit needs to be changed. Ooh, I'm really looking like a butterfly. Now I want like some kind of nature. Oh wait, isn't there some kind of hairstyle that has butterflies? Oh, <gasps> this one. So guys, this is the finished outfit. Like I said before, I really tried reframing from using the entire um, fluttering set, which wasn't too hard to be honest. I did end up using the corset just to tie everything together. But you can see on the shoes, there are indeed butterflies on there, so it does look amazing. As you guys can tell by the side of the head, also there are butterflies and flowers just scattered in the hair, which looks so adorable, along with my cute little mini butterfly wings, and I just really love the outfit all together. So this is also how it looks like from the back, the curls, oh my god, so beautiful. Okay guys, so moving on, I do want to do another one. So I'm gonna try to look on Instagram again. Ooh, why are there so many? Be wait, these are all so good ideas for outfits. Like I should do a part two. Oh wait, that reminds me. If you guys end up liking this video, make sure to comment down below if you guys want a part two or not. So I'm looking through all of these. I have done some of these already, but... <gasps> Ooh, okay, this one, I chose, okay. So this one that I have on the screen right now, I really do like it. I'm I'm gonna try to go for the three emojis this time again and just try to hone in. I, is that a daisy? I don't know what that is. I don't know what flower that is, but it's a flower, some sparkles and leaves. So kind of like a plant aesthetic, you know, I, that's, I love that. <gasps> this, yes. What if I paired it with another corset? I think this one goes really well. Yes, I'm living for that. Ooh, and then we need something on the arms. Okay, what can we have to just go with? It's kind of like a cod. It's not cottage core, but at the same time, I don't even know what this is. Should we go for this? Yes, 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 I'm living for that. Okay, so I kind of feel like using this. I don't know if it's gonna like change the aesthetic at all. Okay then. And again, I just really wanna, hmm. So it was kind of like planty. What is planty? I think we could use this basket. Do you think we could? I think we could. We gotta change the shades. Um, we gotta use an assortment of like, kind of yellows and all of that. I think that looks cool. The hair, the baldness, that's what's messing me up. Okay guys, so I do think that I'm done with this outfit. I low-key kind of like it. I feel like something's missing. I don't know. I just feel like something's missing, but I do very much like it. So I do like, I really like the bangs like on the hair. It kind of pulls everything together. I love the basket, of course. This is kind of how the outfit looks like from the back side, you know? I, I, you know what? I'm starting, to, the outfit's really growing on me, not gonna lie. And here it is from the back. 
So for this outfit, um, I decided to use like a kind of face just to hone on like on the little bits of green that we have throughout the outfit. So we have green eyes and then like the cute little flowers on the face as well with the cute little expression. Honestly, these faces are just amazing. So amazing. And as you guys can see, I don't know. I just feel like I hope whoever recommended these emojis really likes the outfit that I created from them. But I actually really like it. Oh, and this is kind of a top perspective just because I do have this hat and you guys couldn't really see what was on it. So we have those assortments of flowers on the hat as well. So I did also announce for you guys to give me some emojis on my group wall as well. So I decided why not just choose some more. On my previous recording, I did choose all emojis, recommended emojis for my group wall. But I do want to choose just one more just because I haven't shown it on my video. And also, if you guys have not... Oh wait, we just hit 57k. <gasps> Thank you guys so, so much. I'm going to be posting some new merch on my store. So if you guys really like cute clothing and stuff like that or just things like seasonally i will be posting that some of them are related to my ugc items as well so make sure to check my group out and just make sure to join for cute clothes or just cute announcements so not even cute why am i using cute so much please help me okay so hear me out i kind of want to do these emojis just i really did the dead rose so i could maybe take that out but i feel like it goes with the four but i feel like i've been doing like you know soft or like i don't know i don't know i feel like i really want to change it so i'm gonna try this okay back to good old bald sienna now okay so this is more like i don't know if you would label as edgy maybe grunge that's what the aesthetic is called, right? Um, do we have any corsets? It's kind of like that. And this one kind of works. I can use accessories today. Ooh, okay. I have an idea. I do think that the Shadow Empress just... It literally just speaks, you know, that aesthetic. Should I do red? Should I do red or should I do purple? I'm just gonna go with a dark... Uh, it looks like brown a dark red just for now um we could use this as literally a sparkly body chain should we do it silver or black black literally it makes it hidden we do it kind of like grayish so it stands out a bit all right all right okay not bad do you know what okay one accessory that i don't know if it would be counted as grunge but i do love using this accessory is the studded rose garters I don't really see people using this accessory, however, this is low-key one of my favorite, personally, um, accessories in game. I really love pairing this with the Batmobile heels, just because it adds more to the leg, you know? I know, I really love these. I don't know, so right now, I have this so far. I really don't know how to incorporate the caution sign, though. So I might just ditch that. I'm so sorry to the person, but I'm trying to figure out what I should put on my head just because it looks very bare. I don't know if I want to go with this hairstyle either. And the face. I like like the eyes and the, the black hearts, but the mouth, it's killing me, man. So this is the finished outfit. I know that this is definitely not the best I could have done with these emojis. I'm kind of a little bit sad that I just, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of out of my comfort zone for clothes fashion, I guess. I don't know. I, I am kind of proud of the outfit. I don't, I couldn't find a head accessory that I'd like to go with this outfit. So I ended up not putting anything on this character's head. But I, um, I'm like, I have mixed emotions about it. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you guys like it, then I'm happy. If not, then that's okay too, because I'm having like, eh, about this outfit. I don't know. So this is kind of how it looks like from the side. Again, my favorite, I would say my favorite components of this would be like the legs and then like the chain in the middle. I do really like that. And then this is how it looks like from the back. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. If you have not done so already, subscribing is free, and if you really want to, you can always unsubscribe later. Also, somebody please tell me why this swing looks like it's having a seizure. 
Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you guys like this and want a part two, comment down below and let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.